The holiday is right around the corner. You can see the holiday decorations everywhere, including the parks, stores, restaurants, and the streets. People are busy on decorating their houses and getting gifts for their loved ones. As an artist, I like to make my own cards, gifts for my family and friends. Here are some of my paintings that I have created. If you haven't bought any cards and would like to create your own, this video is for you. Also, if you would like to purchase these art prints, you can head to my website. The link is listed in the description. In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint realistic snowing evergreens. Also, I will show you the difference between painting snowing evergreens with and without background. You can decide which style you like. First, let's apply masking food to the snow areas. Here are some art supplies that I'm going to use for today's paintings, including water, paints, arch cold press 140 pounds, 100% cotton paper, ceramic palette, and brushes. You can find a list of my art supplies in the description. I add synthetic oxygen in my water to extend the drying time of my paper. If you would like to check out the experiment that I did before, you can head to my video for more details. Let's use the sap green to create the base of evergreens. The color is from Wizard and Newton. As for the size of the brush, it depends on how big your paper is. Here, I use Coil Size 3 from Skimani Art Brush. Now I use the color number 104 with number 103 from Art Philosophy to create a second layer of evergreens. The lighting is from the top, so the darkest part will be in the center and down the bottom of the tree. Now let's use the Jedi Genuine from Daniel Smith to create the darkest area of the evergreen, which is in the center and down the bottom. Now let's use the wrong size 2 brush with set green to add some details on the edge of evergreen. Now let's use the Jendai Genial to add the darker part between snow and the leaves. Finally, let's add some snow on the ground. We are going to use Quill Size 6 with Color 90 string from Our Philosophy to create a base. Then I'm going to use 134 Blue Wheel with Carbazone Violin from Daniel Smith to create a shadow. The reason I move my paper back on horizontal level is to keep colors stay where I place them so they don't floating around.
finally, I added the darkest blue, which is Deep Sea number 143 from Our Philosophy to emphasize certain dark areas. While waiting my painting to dry, Boba got bored and started biting my decoration. The painting is completely dry, so now we can remove masking fluid. Time to paint snow on the leaves. First, wet the paper. Next, use light blue to create the darker areas. Finally, use blue well with violet to emphasize the darkest areas which is between snow and the leaves. We are going to repeat the same steps for all the snow on the leaves. Please take your time to complete this part. However, in order not to bore some people, I'm going to skip certain parts. You can always pause anytime during the painting process. This painting is almost done. Let's do the final touch by using Jedi Genuine with some deep sea dark blue to emphasize some darkest area. I'm just doing the final review. Um, I'm gonna do some slight touch for the snow area. Since the background is white, so I add a little bit light blue to pop them up. We just finished snowing evergreen without background. What do you think? While having a cup of coffee in a local coffee shop, I wonder if adding the background to my snowy evergreens painting would change the atmosphere of it. If you are familiar with my painting style, you might notice that I have created a watercolor bouquet effects background a lot. That has become one of my art signature. In order to create depth, in my paintings, I practiced so much and finally found out the best way to create blurry effects of the background. After sharing my paintings on Instagram, lots of people had asked me to design a class of how to create bouquet effects background in watercolor. Right now, you can check out this class on Skillshare. This video is sponsored by Skillshare, where you can run so many different classes at your own pace. Now I'm team up with Skillshare to offer two lucky viewers one year free membership. To be qualified for this giveaway, you only need to watch one of my classes and leave me a review. 
If you would like to share your paintings with us, it could be a bonus to win the prize. This giveaway will be held until January 20th, 2024, and the winners will be announced on my birthday, which is January 22nd. You might ask, how about if I'm not a member of Skillshare? If you are not a member of Skillshare yet, don't worry. You can get one month free access by using my link to watch my classes. The link is in the description. I'm looking forward to seeing you there. In this painting, I want to create more realistic look of evergreens. That's why I create loads of needles, one straw by one straw. Since the lighting is from the top, so on top of evergreen, I make those needles lighter. Once you get used to creating the background, you can even challenge yourself to place your main subjects in the middle ground by creating very foreground and background, just like this painting. We just finished another snowing evergreens painting with background. Which one do you like the best? Please let me know if you have any questions regarding today's demonstration. Today's video is longer than my normal ones. If you stay until now, I really appreciate your support. Before you go, please drop me a like subscribe and turn on notification thank you so much for being here until next time happy painting <laughs>